Hello everyone, welcome. In this presentation, I'd like to give an update about the web application support with one running on top of Chrome Embedded Framework in the AGL platform. This is the agenda with the topics I'd like to talk about today. I will start by telling what are the goals of this effort a brief description of the one architecture, why we chose CF, what is CF, and how are we using CF on top of one, and make a demonstration of the current HTML5 image. So I work in Igalia. Igalia is an open source consultancy with HQ in Galicia, Spain. Uh, there are more than a hundred engineers around. We work on web rendering and browsers as such as Chromium, WebKit, WP and Firefox, as well in other areas like compilers, uh, graphics, multimedia and kernel. We are the second main contributor to Chrome uh, right after Google and the second main contributor to WebKit right after Apple. The idea of having CF as a web backend it's not new. There is a ticket that was created in 2021, but it was discarded back then. And when we were defining the 2023 roadmap for, for the web application support, CEF was mentioned as an option for improving the, the time that we take for doing a, a milestone upgrade, upgrade for Chromium. So we decided to start a proof of concept of using CF on one. One stands for Web Application Manager. It's the web runtime used by LG WebOS project and also by AGL. AGL uses a fork of the original one. If you want to know more about AGL history and architecture, I suggest you to watch this first link uh, that is a talk given by our colleague Dape in this year's FOSDEM and also my talk from the previous AMM where I show how you can create new web applications and how we use the WAM architecture to expo expose system services and make them available for web application developers. And one is not framework specific. You can use any web front end framework that you want. It has out of the box compatibility with standard web APIs since it ships the, the everything that Chromium um, offers. It manages the web app lifecycle and has many optimizations for CPU usage, status monitoring and memory management. It's a complete web runtime, uh, pretty different of the goal of the CF project as I'm going to explain in the next slides. And one works by leveraging Chromium infrastructure to create a runtime that launches and manages the web application lifecycle and offers um, pluggables that we can use to inject services that can be used by web application developers. And on AGL, it's a bit different from this uh, from this image instead of the Luna. Uh, we use uh, gRPC for communication, but the architecture is pretty much the, the same. And what our current implementation based on CF does differently is that we don't use the service and pluggable infrastructure provided by one. Uh, we instead override the web runtime interface provided by one and we launch our own processes and manage the processes using CEF. And what we did in order to make one use CEF instead of the Chromium WebOS implementation was to extend 
one space classes uh, designed to represent a web application and those are web app and web page uh, base classes we extended them and tied them to the closest representation that we could find in in cf and this is cf window delegate in the case of the web app and web app is responsible for managing the application lifetime and display on screen and cf browser view delegate in the case of web page and this is responsible to for loading and managing the progress of uh, a web page and other web page related functionality now i'd like to make a quick demo of our current html5 image and then talk about our current status um, as you can see it's pretty close to the implementation using uh, chromium web os i will just go over a few applications And the current status is that CF is already being used as a one backend, but not everything that we need is already implemented. For instance, we need to extend our application lifecycle management and handle uh, applications going to background and stopping rendering DOM processing and things like this. And when we implemented uh, the connection between the applications and AGL Compositor, we reused parts of the Wayland window and Wayland extensions um, from the AGL one fork, but uh, we can get rid of this in and use other ways that uh, CF can can provide for us. For example, we can try to use off-screen rendering instead of relying on CF's window management system and then uh, managing the surfaces ourselves and communicating with the AGL Compositor. And now that I already spoke a lot about CF, I'd like to get more into what the project really is so as i mentioned before the goal of the cf project is pretty different from from one cf is a framework to make it easier to embed browsers into into applications as web fields or even uh, creating browser applications based on on the library it creates um, one of the good things about CF is that it keeps up to date with the current milestone releases with a little delay because the maintainers need to uh, fix bugs and um, manage the releases. You can, you can check out the 
top level architecture just description in in the first link here uh, we also have a list of applications that use use a CEF and a link to the project on, on Bitbucket. CEF is a project uh, sponsored by Spotify and they provide uh, regular releases for multiple platforms. You can check it all on, on, on their wiki. There are a few similar projects, but they didn't quite fit the, the requirements. Uh, WP and WebView are both based on WebKit and WP is more focused on low-end devices and WebView aims to be a small library that lets you Im embed a WebView in, in existing applications but don't, doesn't offer the uh, window management and process management control that we need. I kept uh, WebOS uh, OS E1 uh, because that's the Chromium uh, WebOS is the project that we are effectively replacing with CF. And there is also Qt uh, Web Engine that's based on Chromium but relies on, on the Qt framework. And we have a couple of discontinued um, projects based both on Chromium and, and the Mozilla platform. So why did we choose CF uh, for this effort? Despite one being a very complete project and a proven technology, the milestone upgrades doesn't happen so often. And when we need to upgrade uh, our fork from a milestone to a new one, there's a lot of time and effort involved. And CF follows closely the release cycle of the Chrome project. This means that every two weeks a new version is released and the CF version is usually a week behind. And also CF is toolkit independent. Um, this actually wasn't an, an issue because the Chromium provided Y was enough for for our proof of concept. And it's an improve, improvement on security since we can, for example, use the current Chromium LTS milestone. And on this, on this milestone, we don't receive feature updates for six months, but we keep receiving security updates. So basically our Updates on HL side would be only bumping the Chromium revision with a minimum delta. And we could track both the LTS milestone and the current stable milestone. So when we upgrade from a LTS milestone to a new one, we are going to have not going to have a big delta as well. CF has a collection of tools for automating fetching Chromium and patching it. It adds itself as a part of Chromium source and creates new targets for the project. It generates a library much like what Chromium WebOS does. CF gener generates the libcf and the sandbox executable and also generates the Chromium resource files. It provides a stable C API and provides a C++ wrapper library. Going a bit more on how CF works, it provides two different runtimes, the Alloy runtime that's based on the content layer and the Chrome runtime based on Chrome layer. And the difference between those layers is that the content layer provides the base API needed to render the web runtime, but doesn't provide any speci browser specific implementation. And the Chrome layer offers uh, more functionality, the functionality that the Chrome browser provides, for example, connection to the Google services, um, 
autofilling and uh, other browser uh, functionality. It can use the Views framework or the native platform framework to manage Windows. And the Views framework is interesting because um, if we decide to do so, we can provide a way for creating native CF um, applications in the Agile platform that uses the Views framework for layouting and uh, managing the whole application. And each runtime implements its own uh, a process and browser bootstrap logic, but this is hidden from uh, from the developers that use the framework. One interesting part of CF framework is the provided interface to work with V V8 classes and manage JavaScript. This is all coded that I needed to create the app service object that's created by by one and injected in the rendering process to provide access to the services to the web developers it is also pretty easy to uh, handle function calls on the app service object what is handling code does is basically check what function has been called and call the method that will communicate with the browser process. CF also provides a minimal interface for interprocess communication. And here is what we do when we receive a start call in our app service um, object. And on the browser process side, when we receive an IPC message from the renderer, we check uh, what was the call, and then we either start an application or get the applications list using the gRPC interface with the app launcher pro um, service. And that was basically it. There is still some work to do. We need to fix some known bugs in the the current implementation also to improve application lifecycle management as i mentioned before uh, finished adapting the web app demos to the new grpc interfaces provide a way for bundling web applications decide if we are going to still use in the wayland window application or if we are going to try off-screen rendering and to bring back the browser as an application. We can do this either by using the Chrome runtime in CF or by using the Chrome OS or WebOS implementation. And that's it. If anyone has any comment or question, I would be happy to answer.